Apparently this is very important. Welcome to I'm Scared, this is your first and last time you'll read this message. I suggest you read this because it's very important. To work correctly, I'm Scared created a folder on your desktop just for you. Please make sure the folder is always there. If the folder does not exist, there's a problem, and maybe you'll have to manually create it. As you may know, audio is an important aspect of the game. Please use your headphones or keep the volume mid-high. Press E to proceed. Before starting, I need you to know that this game will try to deceive you as many times as it can, or as many times as he programmed it to. If something strange happens or the game crashes, please feel free to check the desktop folder for anomalies. I'm really sorry this wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want things to go like this. But press E to continue anyways. Forgive me. I think it's gonna crash. Then I can start the episode. No! You were about to play I'm Scared, but it looks like it says I'm Seared. Before starting, though, just consider that this game differs from others. This first area is made to teach you the basics. Move using the mouse or pressing the WASDs. Shift blah blah blah. Huh. Ooh, there's a crouch function? So yeah, okay. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to I'm Scared, the Steam Edition. Not not the Game Jolt Edition. There's a Game Jolt Edition that's from 2012. And then there's the Steam Edition, or the Workshop Edition. I can't remember what they called it. I'll have to double check before I title it. So, so I can properly title it, but this is the Steam version, or Workshop title, whatever. So it's one I haven't played yet, and one I have been wanting to play for a long time. So I thought, hey, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Um, so hey, this is it. And just, yeah, let's just get into it. I'm going to check to see if the folder does exist. Oh god, what the fuck happened? Oh. I minimized the game, my character was up, I was like, what? Okay, so folder does exist, that's good. Let's get into the game. I always did like I'm Scared, and I do, of course, like pixelated indie horrors. Interact by pre pressing the E. Sure, what about over here, though? Oh, gate key. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? There's a flower over there, crouch by pressing control and pick it up. What if I don't control? Ha! I didn't, I didn't hit control. Now give that flower to me. White face coon. White, white face man. I'm scared dude. Where are you? He says he wanted me to give it to him. He, huh. he, he was in the portrait to the right. <laughs> My Madness Works presents one. Made with... I can't read that fucking font. I'm scared. A pixelated nightmare. Press E to begin the experience. Apparently I can read it. A and E to switch the menu. Huh. Now playing begin. Oh, or that. That's exit. Achievements. Oh, achievements. The first key. Hmm. And a mystery. Oh, let's get into it. I don't know what's with the whole piano, but... There's so many games I gotta play. I'm going to be hoping I upload this on Friday? I'm recording this Friday. I'm going to hope I can upload this for Friday. Because I, I, what I was going to do was, here's the thing. I worked on Thursday a whole eight-hour shift. The wardrobe is locked. And since I had an eight-hour shift and I only had two hours of sleep, I need a heart. Since... Motorcycles. The one thing, too, I really wish in the future I move into a place that's not next to a fucking highway. Because every time... There's like the first key. Weird. Two pop-ups. Um, I, I live next to a highway, so you're going to hear eventually and here and there. It's just just blood. Just 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 blood. That's it. I can't. I can barely remember what happens. I remember this in the original version, though, in the Game Jolt version. So I was gonna say, a apartment that's not next to a highway, so you don't randomly hear because some people, like I swear to God, more police need to, oh, need, more police need to hang around on the street that I live on because people just like love to drive by, like they're fucking, you know, like they're goddamn fucking NASCAR racers on, on the street. Actually, I do remember this. So it's really annoying that people just zoom on by non-stop. 
special day tonight. Like it's morning right now. It's it's three or four p.m. right now. But there's so many people that just drive by obnoxiously. If police just can't their cars, they would catch so many people speeding. I wonder if you can call nine one one and like give them that tip and be like, hey, I live on the street. You know, there's so many people that speed on by. You'd catch so many people. And you should totally do it. Wait. Interesting. When you're when you're crouched, you can't strafe. So it's a mildly realistic crouch movement. I mean, depending on how much you squat and how good your leg muscles are, but you can only move forward when crouched. But you can't move side to side. This could be... Oh, hey, peekaboo. I didn't think that was an achievement, but... Apparently it was! There's a good thumbnail material, that's what I was thinking. So we got a chair. Aha! Uh -huh. Rusty key. Anyone in there now? Nope. But yeah, so a lot of obnoxious people drive down the road, and as for sleeping schedules, what I was going to do, or what I was trying to say, was... Yeah, I'll go to that room last. <laughs> I sort of remember this, but I, I, the last time I played it must have been like 2000... 2015 to, or early 2016 when I originally played the Game Jolt version. I remember this too. Hey there, buddy. You're gonna slowly vanish into the distance. You got some kind of either meat or slippers. Another car driving by. Uh, so here's one thing. I, I, it's like since it's 4 p.m. and I won't be, like upload this. You probably got. You probably won't get it until I don't know 8 or 9 p.m. Unfortunately. But the reasoning is because I want to record as much as possible on my days off, and as well as the fact that. Uh, since I had two hours of sleep, then had an eight-hour shift, came home, and I was too tired to really do anything. So what I thought was, I'll just get as much sleep as possible. I'll wake up super late, so when I start recording, I won't be able to upload a episode up for the day, and then two for the day afterwards on Saturday. Um, but, I mean, at least I'll be fucking fully replenished. I won't be exhausted while trying to record, because trying to record when exhausted, it's... It's difficult. You'd have to be doing YouTube for years to really know what I mean, probably, or just to... Don't tell me I'm stuck. Yeah, the hole behind the bookshelves. So you'd have to know what I mean, like, just to be on a... Let's say if you have two jobs, if you work two or three jobs, and then you're just, like, forced to have to do one thing after you're already tired, and you know that what you have to do exerts a lot of energy. Like, doing this, it takes energy out of you. You would not believe how much energy gets taken out of you for commentary, uh, for playing games and commentary on YouTube, it's just weird how it drains energy from you. Squishy, 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 squishy. I got myself a heart. Pulsating heart. What's up? Nope. White face. Nil. Is this the first time you've seen this? Stop, error screen. Check the game folder and read. It's like, it's hilarious it's a, how the developer felt the need to hold your hand and be like, okay, see, this is what they call a cryptic pixelated horror game. Now, you might be a normie, and you might need to be like, Oh god, the game's actually blue screen and crash my beer. And the developer's just trying to avoid it so the people don't bitch about it and be like, No, 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 this game's just trying to, you know, be deceptive and scare you. And he has to tell you, check the folder, make sure you look at it, search for the clues. But if it's the Game Jolt version, you have YouTubers who will, like, literally investigate, find out what's going on, and solve it. But then you'll get, like, you put it on Steam, you know, it's hand-holding. It's kind of insulting. This is a new installation is your hardware software manufacturer for any Windows. Now I was just telling you, literally close the game and look in the folder. And here it is. So let's see. There is a way to turn an entity into data. Uh, they have a life of their own and it is difficult to distinguish them from a normal computer files. And our actions of every day while we sit at the computer, this byte entity observes us and studies our every move in fear. One of those fucking FBI or NSA. Ah. Uh, the game is simple. To touch the arrows is the key. If you get caught, you lose. A sound will predict its arrival. It is white face. Touch the arrows for the key and you get caught. No idea. Uh, do you know my name? White face. Hopefully I got it right. Let's see, we got the achievements, the first two, I don't know what it does, if we have that. Wait, 
Now playing... Oh, car park. Oh. Ooh, I hated this. But wait, if I do this, wouldn't it start the... This isn't exit, is it? Should I... Now playing car park. I thought it was the exit originally, but apparently not. Will it go to the car park by clicking this? I'm unfamiliar with the mechanics of this main start menu. Yep, let's play tag shit. I hated this part. I really hated this part. It's pretty nerve-wracking. But we had to follow the arrows. I remember before, it was just roam aimlessly. But I know I had to just follow the arrows. Sort of like if you're playing Pac-Man. He's probably behind me. Oh god. See, like I said, it's nerve-wracking. Very nerve-wracking. I know what it's shaped like. It's just a big-ass square. Ugh. Nerve-wracking, though. Stop. Then we're gonna turn left in the center right here. Uh... Shit. I swear there was another way, so I had to go all the way back here. Yep. Yeah. Nope. I don't know, he's probably behind me, I gotta... Fuck, oh, that's loud. Door! Oh, it's still locked? Shit, so I haven't run over the signs or I still have to get the key. Where's the key, man? God, that's loud and right behind me. Oh, oh, arrow's here. Didn't see these before. There. Master tag. I gotta go this way, I believe. Ugh, I'm sweating. This is stressful. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! There's a metal gate I saw, but I didn't go to, so I'm wondering if that was another secret there. Like, I don't know, like, was the gate where I came from? Hopefully not, because I don't know if I'd be going back there unless I had to, like, restart the game, play from the beginning, just to figure out... I love watching... What's in another game that says that? I love watching you. That was the same message from the A Dark Place, the exact same thing. It's just a reoccurring theme in trying to make someone feel unsettled, is telling them they like being watched. But when you say that to a person who self-identifies as a YouTuber, then it's just sort of like you think to yourself, Oh, well thanks! How to play Hundred, I'm hundreds Scared. Of to play I'm Scared, you just have to think outside the box. What? To do so, I've made an example, just for you. Let's is this the developer? That you're stuck in a room. And you need a heart to exit. Looking around, you'll find a key. And with that key, you'll be able to open the closet near the exit door. You won't find anything in the closet. It'll take some seconds, though, to understand that while you were exploring, a passage has opened behind you. It takes a small effort to be involved. Are you... Brave enough. What? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, you trying to... Wait. I can actually re-enter the elevator, weirdly enough. But... And a passage has opened behind me. Am I brave enough? What is it, like, doc fucking developer commentary or something? I'm suffering. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Um, I was listening to the developer trying to give me some kind of weird, uh... Why is everything turned black right now? Like, can I just open the door and I should've? The door is locked, as expected. Oh, so I was meant to hit it. Okay, so I was meant to hit E for this blood to appear. Gate key. wonder what happened if I go back to the elevator. Because I... That gate in the parking lot really does have me... Hmm. There's no way I can go back to the parking lot, shit. 
Because usually you're rushing out of the parking lot that you don't even check the gate. Or maybe you do check the gate and I just didn't, but... Yeah, yeah, I know you're suffering. What does it say? One of them is lying. One of the developer, probably. Hmm. An infinite room? Hmm. Oh, well, okay, let's just leave it, I guess. The pit. I remember this. I want to know when it starts becoming new. Like, when content stops being familiar. Is there a jump scare in this hallway? No. Going back to my room. The wardrobe is locked. The key is not there. You use the pulsating heart. The end! I call bullshit, but sure. Wait. Wait, 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 what? No. Oh. Is that about to say? Where did the developer commentary come from? And I'm scared how to play was actually playing? So I'm going to come in and bury her. Hello, this is the first part of a simple tutorial on how to play I'm Scared. Follow the instructions, remember, don't let it deceive you. Waiting for January 28th. Six will do? You did not just open a YouTube video while I was in game. <laughs> uh, all the people that leave in comments are the people who played it when it originally released. All these comments are two years old, as you can see. Yeah, interesting. So yeah, so this thing came up in the middle of the game. I closed the YouTube window, and then a jump scare happened. How convenient. And someone said a hint. I don't need to see hints. But I am curious about these part twos and stuff. How to play I'm Scared. To play I'm Scared, you just have to think outside the box. To do so, I've made an example, just for you. That you're searching for a key, and you looked everywhere. Mm -hmm. The thing you've not done is searching on the computer desktop what? for anomalies. Now you have a clue, and you have a clue you can finally get your key. Oh, that's the key I already got. Seriously? It takes a small effort to be involved. Are you... Why? Is that literally a tutorial, though? Well, wait. There... There's two of them that say? Wait, oh wait, wait. Come... Geocaro? Oh, it's a different language. So you're saying how to play one out of three and two out of three. How do I get to three out of three? Hmm. There's no three out of three. There's just... There's two English and two... I don't know. Spanish? I have no idea. Come Geocare? It's in a different language. Come giocare and I'm scared. No idea, but the same thing, and six will do, is the hashtag. So maybe if we look at the hashtag, we'll find three out of three. No, just no, just not at all. Okay, well, anyways, let's just say that's enough for one episode, and I'll relaunch it for the next episode. We got, I've been recording for 21 minutes, I think that is plenty. So, I hope you enjoyed this old 2016 indie horror classic, very good classic. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, click on the subscriber, hit that bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Bye.